What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of our Top 5, Bottom 5. And today's a Bottom 5 discussion. It's my choice. It's the Bottom 5 third-party flops, meaning figures that came out that had a lot of hype or interest in them, and they came out, and then were just kind of total lemons or duds. And uh, today mm-hmm. I have Chris Pinkerton, if you're nasty. What's up, party people? Of Crashbox Customs fame. And I also have Joey, a.k.a. Uncle Dolphin, a.k.a. Cyphus 54. We are together, Make Up Nerd Rage Radio. You can find us on a weekly podcast wherever podcasts are found and yeah and for that if you enjoy these conversations come over listen to a few more and uh so i'll go ahead and get started my number five is all of the fans project dinobots <laughs> el total i don't know if all of them is fair. Are they all that okay. bad it's really not that they were all that bad it's just that like fans project at that time was going through like such a weird place where they were kind of falling off and and other companies were kind of rising up yeah. and and they had such a stake in the game at the time that when you thought of them and you thought of them doing Dinobots, you were like, oh, Lord, this is going to be sick. Right. But they were just not keeping up with the Joneses at the time. And it was like a weird feeling because it was like, yeah, these are good. They're just not as good as other stuff that was coming I, out. I did get two of them before I went off the rails because mm-hmm. like, cause they didn't, I don't think they showed all the pictures of all of them to begin with. It took forever. I got Columpio. Yeah. But I remember that figure being pretty good. The swoop, I feel like, was a mess. I feel like the first two were pretty good. I think it was Slag and Sludge. Yes, those are, I had both of those. Yeah, I, I think those up. two were, were pretty good. But just the set as a whole, I feel like, were just like a... Swoop is always just a box with wings anyway. Oh, failure. Right. What do you have for number five, John? TFC Ares, Predator King. T- it, it, was, okay. it, it was not Pharaoh Rex. It was the one that came with Pharaoh Rex. I mean, it came out at the same, the same time, time as Pharaoh Rex. One of the first wars. Yeah. And um, well, that is mean, Pharaoh Rex is a classic. Everyone loves it still. Yeah. I'd say that, that Pharaoh Rex uh, demolished that other one because I barely even remember it exists. Yeah, and, and there was also the Unique Toys one at the same time. There oh, was yeah, actually I three. That one was before, actually. That yeah. one was the first one. But but that Feral Rex had such a presence. Yeah, um, but like I was really looking... This is like, I guess, personal list. I was really looking forward to that. I actually got it. You revealed mine. Yeah, revealed yeah, yeah, mine. yeah. It looks... The aesthetics of it, I always look at it as like the looks. It looks great, but it performed very poorly. That's a TFC trend. It, it performed terribly. It was worse than Hercules. It's funny because like I think back then, I feel like everybody loved the Rex and jumped on the Rex, mm-hmm. you know. But I feel like if this, if that same three sets came out today, Unique Toys would be the one that people backed because it's the most cartoon accurate. It is, you know, and it's just it's just interesting to think about how that has changed, you know, the, the perception of people. Christopher. Number five. So I'm going to kind of piggyback off you, Bobby. And, yeah. And uh, the, it's the fans toy. I'm sorry. Fans project. Yes. Uh, dinosaur or, or Dinobots when they decided that they needed to make a raptor with boobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, and, and maybe that's that <laughs> yes. wasn't a flop. It was a lousy toy. Yeah. Uh, it was a lousy design. I remember. And, and I'm much like Joe. I'm completely out of the scene on the third party. And stuff. I, I actually wasn't turned off by the idea of a female Dinobot. Were you turned on <laughs> by the idea of a female <laughs> that's, Dinobot? That's a fair question. Yeah. Um, um, but I wasn't like I kind of like the idea of a female raptor. It, it kind of suits the set to me. But... Clever girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did they have to make it a female? Is that why? Um, my number four is the eye gear swerve and gears. I so they, this was way in the beginning. I remember there was a lot they of all... hype around it because it was like they were doing so many mini bots. Like they announced like the so many. I like, had the brawn and Cosmos. Yeah, Cosmos. Yeah, Cosmos. Yeah. Cosmos. But the 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 gear and swerve, like in hindsight, were just so awful. And I I was blinded by like yeah the beginning the of the hype. third party love. We bought everything. Yeah. I did everything was great. I bought it and loved it, which is makes me a, a special kind of idiot. Um, but it, it wasn't until like, I think months and months later where I just like looked at it and I was like, man, this was awful. And I think they were like 50 bucks a pop, you know, that one was like the cover of the color of like, it was like pink, like it was swerve and it was supposed to, you know, sort of has like that salmon type, but it was, this was like a pink. Oh God. It was so the arms and the legs are just one like big blocky chunk and they don't look good and it's just, I don't know. It's like, it's like a G1. I was blinded. I was blinded at the mm-hmm. time, but that's my number four. 
Number four for me was Omniconics. Oh, Spin, spin out. out. Oh, yeah. Sun Classic. Trigger. Because we didn't have a Sun Trigger at the time, but it came out with Sun oh, Surge. Yep. And then later, Masticara. But like, because I, I, I don't like the, the fake parts, like Sun Surge. Oh, right. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is a real legit one. But it came out was also a piece of trash. The, yeah, I had and that Also one. floppy. But I think it was, a, it was a piece of crap. What do you got, Chris? So mine is, uh, and it's funny now because I think this figure might be worth $700,000 today. <laughs> yeah. But it's fans' toys, lupus, <laughs> yeah. the weird wolf. Yeah, um, the actually, wolf. I actually that was probably one of the last masterpiece things I bought that put you in a time frame. Like it was fine on the but but the playability was just not there. It didn't do anything. It it just, just stood there and and it was like it was also fans' toys it was on fire at that point mm-hmm. and like they could when, do no wrong when that thing came out. The ankles barely moved. The shoulders the barely moved. The shoulders what would the the, the cavity where the headmaster sits in wolf mode like it would sink in or it wouldn't sit upright, like it would just collapse, like it wasn't, you know, there was a lot wrong with that figure, and I, I mentioned it at the time, how much was wrong with it, and, and people did not agree with me, but history has shown. So my number three, three. is TFC's uh, Uranus, or Uranus. So this is their Superion. It was, oh, gosh. You know, this is their second combiner. Memories. Oh, shit. <laughs> You yes. know, but it also had a ton of hype, and it was like, man, this is coming. And, you know, all of them were like pretty decent, like coming out and it, for their time, especially. And then I remember putting that thing together for the first time, and those hips just failed. Just like, just like complete this. splits. Like, couldn't bear the weight. For the longest time, I think I had him, like, leaning up against the side of a cabinet in order to, like, show that figure off when I still had it. And what's funny is, in hindsight, it's not their worst combiner. You know, no. their worst one is that Lyokaiser. Yeah, you had it in the billy with, like, each foot against <laughs> each of the, <laughs> the, the, the skinny billy, so each foot was propped against each wall. Yeah, so that it so couldn't it collapse. Up, and it had the... F- Thing. Yeah, the spear it's thing. Like mm. The Lyokaiser <laughs> came out during a time where it was like, man, this is TFC. It could go either way. The Uranus came out at a time where it's like, man, this is probably going to be great. Yeah, and then it could barely stand. Uh, Doctor Toys. Oh <laughs> no, Chronos. Uh-huh. Oh no, That's not the Kronos. first. The first. Guy, the soap. The, the soap bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, that, that was before we had fans toys and. Masterpiece and all these other ones. That yep. was like, but it also another one that had like a ton of hype. It looked like yeah, another looked great. third party company that was going to make stuff that looked the way you kind of wanted it to, and or you thought you did. On pa- in pictures, it still looks great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it was 150 bucks, which for yeah, the time, it's a, it was lot. a lot. Was expensive. I mean, it's, but that thing literally felt like a soap bottle. Yeah, thing. the back specifically, like the whole backpack was like almost like that squeezy plastic. <laughs> um, I mean, it did have it, it, obviously a flop. Yeah, but it did have a presence on the shelf yeah. if you got it where it you looked, wanted it, it look good yeah, yeah it looked good it's gonna be in the back anyways yeah right? yeah and it probably is better articulated than the phoenix to be honest I I, i'd yeah. have to go back and check but and it's um, never you never have him in a dynamic pose anyway he's yeah. usually just standing around yeah right. standing around, standing around. <laughs> like, oh, even sh- <laughs> hanging out <laughs> yeah. down the street good, up, for, good for nothing jeff fire <laughs> there was kind of a significant rollout for it too like yes. there's a lot of promotional stuff for it a lot of pictures the designer was at njcc that one year with like a Which prototype showing it off like you know it, there was just a lot of hype and buzz around it and then it came out and was kind of a, it, a big swing and a miss you know i wonder if it was a manufacturing issue or a design issue like i think there's maybe a lot the design of was fine like if it was actually built in a good factory with good yeah. materials maybe yeah. it would have been good there's a there's I a lot of stories the designer about in, that, in cases right? like that there's a lot of stories about that right Bobby, yeah. on, on where that actually design came from yep. what about you chris so i'm gonna <clears> go <throat> next with and i don't know his government name but it's KFC's Blitzwing. Yeah. That that giant hunk of mess. Yeah, dude. What was his name? Do you remember? Dicka. 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 Yes. Dicka. yes. yes. <laughs> Cuz he came yes. with a football oh, yeah. that he couldn't really hold. Yeah. And then he couldn't stand up for yeah, for, really do much for of stuff. Yeah, like those knees would just like I like I I think I it's like my knees. I did, <laughs> <laughs> I did my final thoughts with like his feet on the table and like his back also on the table. I remember it, that. Like, I remember and that. And he just really, got his, was was like great. holding the football up in the air and his like knees are bent and he's just laying down on the, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and once again, I figure with a lot of hype, a lot yep. of like buzz around it. <clears throat> My number two is Daka Toys Kronos for the same reasons that we already discussed. No, re- no need to really harp on it anymore. But it was like, it wasn't even that it was awful. It was just that it was so expensive and such a disappointment, you know, that, that, that really kind of stung at the well, time. 
it came out at a hundred bucks, would you think it would have been as bad? No, people would have kept it, bought it. I think I think people would have been more forgiving. You know, myself included. You know, I think the price point kind of really d- put salt in the wound. <laughs> Number two, Joey. <laughs> um, MMC Whirl. It was personal. It was. I don't know if it was a flop. Oh, it's a disappointment yeah, because it dude. was at the time. I mean, I still love IDW. IDW is what <clears> really <throat> got me back in Transformers. Really loving Transformers before the whole Combiners War crapped on it, right? Yeah. And I love <laughs> true. all the characters, and I loved MMC for making all the characters mm-hmm. because they are the ones were the ones yep. make, making them yep. were, were all the ones they, they were all the ones were all the ones <laughs> and they announced world I was like oh yeah and then they showed the world yeah and, and I, I, I think that was like the beginning of the end for me for, of collecting Transformers I'm, was, like, I'm not gonna get what I want so I'm not gonna get anything that's an odd character I mean aesthetically right, right. It, from what I remember I'm sure you'll show a picture on the screen of, of the IDW version it's not like a, it doesn't look like another Transformer no so. it's very they, I think they were behind the eight ball to start for sure to try to make something that worked at worked as a toy and then <clears throat> looked the way people expected it to like the rest of their stuff did 100 percent. but their problem at that time and i agree with you but their problem at that time was that they everything that they made they were considering the, Recolors. the repaint sure, sure so the world wasn't quite right and the cyclonus wasn't quite right because they were using them for different molds mm. and it was like they were they were those two characters are so important to that idw yeah, story. they were one of the main like world is responsible for character. the war yes yes he's the one that starts the entire autobot decepticon yeah. war um, and they're just beloved characters they're very yeah. important beloved characters of the fandom yeah and it's like and what you they can't sh- mess them up what, what i think mmc did was they tried to like balance the look between the repaints Doesn't and what they should have done is just leaned into the important characters and then made you kind of like tilt your head and squint to see the repaint do you know what i mean yeah and they were doing things like releasing <clears throat> the repaint first before the, the pre- it's a pre-paint yeah, yeah. like they really yeah. titanium oh, right? oh i like oh, pre-paint. that a pre-paint yeah, i came was, up with that a while back i like that titanium i think was the before they released roadbuster the roadbuster yeah yep. was like, business it was all business minded and not not definitely not fan forward uh number two christopher let me paint you a picture. Please. <laughs> Pre paint me a picture? Chris Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like Rick Ross or Rob <laughs> Ross? Somewhere in the middle. Depending, Somewhere in the middle. Depending on your habit, right? Somewhere in the middle. Uh, I'm going to paint you a picture. Uh, I'm going to get in the Wayback Machine, Bobby. Okay. This, it, this is this is referencing the event at which you and I first met in person. Okay. We're going to Charlotte. Let's go. It's 2015. We're at a Transforming Robot Convention. convention. What a time to be alive. It, it, it was. This is the first time I'd been to a, a Transformers convention since, God, probably a BotCon in uh-huh. like 2014. Pre pre Bay movies, uh, and I met a little company there called Voodoo Toys. Oh, oh yeah! And I just thought of this while we were I sitting here. To be honest, oh, I was really looking forward to the, the, yeah. the Voodoo ratchet. Toys the did. Ratchet. So they had a a diaclone, the, the black Iron one, the black one, and it was awful. Yeah, it was. I was really looking. For, they looked great. They, they looked did. much they better looked than cool. the masterpiece yeah, one. Yeah, I agree. No, but that's that was a good definitely. One. I mean, that was rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good call. Good pull, man. Yeah. Good pull. So numero uno. No, my number one is going to seem weird at first, but let me explain it. It's the MMC bugs, the MMC Insecticons. And the reason why is because this is when MMC was really leaning into the Studio Ox bag. Their designs looked just like the Studio Ox designs. They announced theirs, but Bad Cube had announced theirs. Fans Toys had announced theirs. Everybody got out before MMC and had kind of been Insecticoned out. Mm. They did as a result, I think they didn't put as much energy effort into them, but they knew people were relying on them. They knew they weren't even good enough for the <laughs> Masterpiece line anymore. Yeah. They rebranded them, put them under the reformatted line, yeah. put them all out at once at a cheaper price with cheaper everything to go along with it. And it was just like, what happened here? Right. From from the level that the MMC Masterpiece line kind of had reputation-wise, I think that that was the biggest hit that it mm, took and it yeah. had, I'm not sure in some ways it was ever they, fully recovered I don't think they did uh, yeah. it's, I think it was all reformed after this. Yep. it's probably pretty humbling to realize that wow I have the third best one of something that's currently available yeah. uh, before I even put it out they were clearanced out the same year that they dropped you know what I mean which like it says something so, you know, like, and they, and I think they were relatively inexpensive in the first place, and they were less expensive than they were intended to be had yeah. they come out with the masterpiece line. Like, just a huge disappointment. They weren't even they like they they certainly weren't as good as their masterpiece stuff, but they weren't <laughs> even as good as their reformatted stuff at the time. It just seemed like a complete fumble. I guess they had to release it anyway. Yeah, I would guess they had already spent money on the mold, paid the designer. Yep, and well they just had to, to break the, get yeah. some some kind of money, break back. Yep. some revenue, but no money. Yep. 
Number one. Number one is uh, Moss Toys Bumblebee. The Cybertronian one in which I would have gotten one for the box art alone. Oh, okay. All right. So we agree the box art's all right. The, art, the box art is great. <laughs> It would have well. it would, the box art. The box art would have sold me by yeah. itself if the piece w- and the drama behind the whole thing wasn't yeah. so bad. Yeah, that's fair. It's like it's, yeah, it wasn't just the piece being not the best, but like there was a lot of yes, yeah, you've covered yeah, yeah, on the channel in, in detail in, in multiple videos and in multiple interviews. But I think that um that like, that in hindsight, like the biggest hits that third party took that kind of made it whatever it is now, which is just a kind of less interesting less vibrant thing that's one of them i think that studio cell unicron is another one like there's like they mm. just have done these certain things that have really had an impact on the on the years to come but that's definitely the ripples from that rock and that water yeah. are like they travel far number one number one x trans bots ollie <laughs> and yeah. I, say, I say that with, with wait, all wait. hubris. Yeah. 1.0 or 2.0? So specifically 1.0. <laughs> I, I recently I recently messed with a 1.0 version of that figure. Which one? Um, and then you, you have like 86. Yeah, I do. Uh, the uh, Flex. The, uh, listen. Let's get this out of the way. If you don't know, I pride myself on having what it could only be the world's largest collection of that mold. Yeah. Um, Ali's and Zubi. <laughs> right. The 2.0 is is much improved. But it's funny though. I mean, they sold enough to make a 2.0 to but sell the, more. They made it. I don't know and, how, and I will say that and it was still bad. I, hey, that's why we embraced that silly little guy because he was such an awful figure, and it's been. Yeah, I'm was. glad it was a flop, and I, it was, and it was a disappointment. It you was know, also like, floppy. There, there was, the, yeah, yes, it was also floppy, but there was a lot of hype. It was a, yep. once again a lot of hype. So with that, please feel free to leave your top five or bottom five flops uh, here in the comments, and uh, check us out on Nerd Rage Radio every week. And Chris, where can they find you? Crashbox Customs all across the Fruited Plain, dude. <laughs> shout out to Chris today for making it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> and Joey, where can they find you? you find me on Nerd Rage Radio. All right. Every week. So with that being said, slap your lips, tasty toenails, <laughs> tight traps, player. <laughs>